Hey, hey, so I was just thinking of another thought today and I was, I was like, what is the saturated fat kind of budget or whatever? What, what is the number that these associations think is ideal? And I'm thinking of this in terms of a carnivore diet, okay? I'm trying to throw these carnivores a bone here. What could be a healthy carnivore diet or the healthiest maybe version of a carni carnivore diet? And so I found this article and where is it? Here they say that the dietary guidelines for Americans um, says to limit saturated fat than less th to less than 10% of the calories you consume. The American Heart Association is more conservative, suggesting a limit of five to 6%. And then McManus, whoever that is, uh, is saying 7%. So I'm gonna actually go with the 5% of the American Dietetic Association and show you that you can actually eat a carnivore diet and stick to the AHA recommendations for saturated fat. It is possible. So when you take that budget and you calculate it here, I've done 2000, I've done it for a 2000 calorie diet, okay? So for men who eat way more or even women who eat way more, it's gonna be more, but for a 2000 calorie diet, on, at 5% saturated fat, that's about 11 grams of saturated fat per day. Now, in my other video on breeds of cow, we went over the different numbers of saturated fat in chicken, fish, beef, and all these, and venison, all these different things. And I, I just also looked up pork, so we can talk about all of them. The two worst, if you're gonna be on a carnivore diet, if you wanna make this saturated fat budget, the worst you can eat is pork and beef. Beef has around anywhere from like nine grams of saturated fat down to maybe like, if you get certain breeds that I don't even know where you can buy this beef, but if you get them, um, they're really low. You can eat a ton of it, but most breeds are above a, a thousand milligrams or one gram, way above, but, um, Pork is, I don't know, I'm getting a ton of different numbers here, but let's say like around seven grams. I guess it depends on the pork too, but for, a, for an 100 gram portion. Now, if you're, which is, you know, a fair bit of that 11 grams a day, right? You're gonna be able to eat 100 grams plus a little bit more of pork or beef a day. If you want to do a, cal a carnivore diet sticking to the AHA recommendations. Now, we already went over in my other video that fish, chicken, and venison are all around a gram of saturated fat per 100 grams of meat or whatever. So you could actually do 11 100 gram portions of chicken, salmon, or venison a day and still meet the AHA requirements for saturated fat. It can be done. It's just all these carnivores seem to be all about beef, 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 even grass-fed beef. It's still quite high in saturated fat. But these other meats are quite low and you can actually meet these guidelines. I know a lot of people are just gonna say the guidelines are useless and blah, 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 which I, I don't believe anymore. I used to think that, I don't believe it anymore. But I'm just saying, you could actually theoretically do a carnivore diet that sticks to the AHA guidelines for saturated fat and um, provided you can get enough nutrition. Now, fish, in my opinion, would be more nutritious than beef anyway, and so would chicken. You'd be getting your omega-3s and 6s, uh, I'm guessing in the right quantities, I have no idea. And you wouldn't be getting so much iron, which is another problem with these carnivore diets. Now, I'm not sure about other nutrients, whether they would be in the correct amounts, you know, all your B vitamins, um, vitamin A, all your folate and all that other stuff. But I am saying that if you want to improve your cardiovascular health and still stick to these high meat diets, there is a way, there is a way but you gotta give this up. Like not so much of this stuff. Mm, I mean, unless you can get the Alejandro cows, or I'm saying that totally wrong, 
but you know what I mean? The certain cows that are super low in saturated fat. If you can get those, um, sure, you could potentially do a carnivore diet with that. But there are other options and who knows, maybe there are even better options.